What's up guys? Today we are doing the Never Have I Ever Challenge. But before we get started into that, I got a few key notes that I have to start this video out with. And informationalize people. That ain't even a word. That is not even is that a word? I don't think informationalize. You ever been informationalized? Informed. I know, inform. But informationalize sounds cooler. It's longer and I feel smart because I said it. So, I've gotten a few comments. We have gotten a few comments that I'm so mean. Okay, we You're said this in so another mean. We said this in another video. <laughs> I'm not mean. I'm not a mean person. Okay, I don't know. No, why. no, 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 no. You trying to go with it like, no, you're not mean, Justin. No. no okay. <laughs> and seriously, I don't know why everybody's saying he's mean. I'm laughing and joking around. We I know just why. play really rough. I, I know why. Why? You get the bad end of all of the challenges, like with well, with the dog No, 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 no. Actually at the beginning you get the bad end, and then I get the bad end. Like dog food? Dog food, buddy. You got it bad, then I got it bad. I promise in the videos to come, he will get some bad stuff, like some onions that he cannot stand. Nah. <laughs> Things are gonna get oh, bad. No, and then in some of the videos, like, what What was it, yesterday? Was it yesterday when I poured water on you? Yeah, but that was just all fun and game. Okay, I poured water on her. She didn't pour none on me. But see, she's got to start capitalizing. You have to start capitalizing. See, I capitalize and I pour water on you if I have water, okay? I don't play any games. If you all want a prank master. If you all want to see me do something to Justin, comment some ideas down below and maybe that'll happen. And this little attitude that I have, it's like duh, 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 like that. It's just joking. I'm not seriously that mean. It's just I'm mean. What? No, you're not. <laughs> you're not no. mean at all. Okay, enough about this. Let's get into this this thing. Wait, we okay. Oh yeah, another thing. Another thing, this is this is on board. This is on topic now. We did do another video. I have never have I ever never have I ever challenged that. <laughs> Whatever that is, that now when we say never have I ever and say never have I ever eaten food. Okay, I've eaten food. Shut up, whatever, it's an example. Okay, <laughs> never have I ever, blah blah blah. And then I say I have. And then I just said never have I ever. This is just how we're gonna do it, because this is how I've seen many people do it. Never have I ever eaten an apple. Then I hold up I have. So it's like That's a like, double negative. It's confusing. So we're just going to read the never have I ever question. And then we're going to answer it. How have we or have we not? Okay. I know we have done a video of never have I ever before, but it was a really short video and everybody wanted to see us to do a longer video. So we're going to go ahead. Longer. What's longer? How long was the other one? It was really short. Okay, let's do this. I, I got think questions. Our camera, I don't have questions. I think our camera was in the verge of dying, oh. so we had to like hurry it up. Alright, let's do this. Let's right. start this. What kind of never have I ever questions do you guys want to see? Of course, we won't know in this video, but comment below if you want to see another never have I ever, and we'll have a certain style on it. Never have I ever picked my nose. Never have I ever done a backflip. Wait, what? what's a theme? Never have dirty. I ever. Dirty. Okay, see, there's a lot of kids out there, so dirty would not be appropriate, Jen. Okay, so all those couples that do dirty lick my body. Okay, dirty. so if you guys want to see a dirty never have a ever, we'll do it. Okay, we'll do it. Let's we do this. We have our sons right here. I'm about to ask some questions. Wow, we really rambled on for a long time there. It's okay. Never have I ever taken food out of a trash can and ate it. Have you done that? Have you? Well, hold on. I just want to know if you have. Hold on. <laughs> See, okay. What are we talking about? Bear food or was it in the wrapper? Because <laughs> if, look, dude, somebody had a piece of pizza or a whole box of pizza, they might have thrown it away. It was right on top. I grab it out. Microwave that sucker. Nom, nom, nom. So, so I guess I have. But I didn't do the whole pizza thing. But I'm, I a dirty, not. I'm a dirty person. <laughs> See, I never grabbed. Oh, he threw a cheeseburger away. It's sitting in there in the trash can. You don't just grab that. Like, look, if there was a bag of food and it was like a double cheeseburger that was perfectly fine, this is why I'm fat, okay? <laughs> Go around eating in trash cans. No, the bag's on top, Jen. Nothing, it was just thrown away 33 seconds ago, 33 to be exact. And then you get it and, and it's like, ooh, perfectly fine McDouble. It does not matter. Nom. That is gross. Okay. okay, so I have, and don't even play, you have too. When? I'm pretty sure. When? Because, look. I'm pretty sure you've eaten no. the trash can, you little dirty. <laughs> Not dirty. Okay, I don't know if I have either. <laughs> Actually, I have. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Never have I ever shoplifted. You bad person! You're a bad person! I have not, because I'm a great angel. I'm an angel. Are okay. you an angel? Uh, nope, I'm an angel. 
am an angel. You're not an angel. You're okay. a stealer, thief. Okay. Rob me. No, don't rob me. No. Okay. You make it seem bad, but like to them, they're like, oh, she steals. Oh. But no, this is what happened. Okay, so I was like a freshman and I was hanging with somebody and we we're like, oh, we'll take a few things. So we did that. I got in trouble and I had like a social worker and I was crying and I've never stolen. Okay, since. so I lied. I have stolen. When I was about four years old, <laughs> I stole a pack of gum. I, wait, I have not. I mean, have. I mean, I mean, I mean, I have. I stole a pack of gum when I was very young. I asked my mom if I could have this when we were outside of the store. And she was like, I guess you can now. <laughs> so, I mean, was that stealing or was I just really wanting the pack of gum? And it was the zebra you gum. You were four. It was, it was the zebra gum, you know, the wrapper, and I think it yeah. becomes a tattoo. What? I don't know. That's what no. I was told. Anyways. So. Never have I ever broken a bone. Ah, that's a tough one. It's so, that is so tough. I have okay, not. Okay, now, shh, shh, shh. Listen. <laughs> listen, listen, guys. Listen, listen, oh, listen, God. listen. Shh. Is that a broken bone, baby? Oh, yeah. You think that's broken? Compressed fractures, what they call it, a broken in the, wait, it broke into little pieces. So I guess I broke a bone, baby. Yeah, I've never broken a bone. I don't ever see my foot. Hurt. They thought my foot was broken too, but it was just sprained, and then my whole summer was gone. It's back when I was young. Back I mean, I was young. I sprained my shoulder. Hold on, you didn't even hold your like sign that. up, man. I guess I did. I said I have not. So look, you can't be answering the question without holding your sign up. I did. And this is when people think I'm mean, but really I'm a nice person. Get off of me. Never have I ever dined and dashed. I was looking to see what you was doing, but I have not. Good girl, good girl. Okay, let's just skip that one. We don't have to talk about that too much. Because, well, we, we're not bad people. We're great people. Especially me. Never have I ever woken up and couldn't move. Uh, uh, I have uh, not. Uh, but I woke up, I was like... Uh, <laughs> uh. Couldn't do nothing. It was like I was awake. Dude, I couldn't move a muscle. It was the worst thing. I was young, okay? I was very young. I was about 12 years old. I'm laying in bed, and I could see everything that was happening. I'd seen somebody walk by, and all I wanted to do was say, Hey, come shake me. But no, I couldn't even make... I was like... Uh, uh, that's all I could do. And then, eventually, my body woke up, and it was like, Praise the Lord! Thank you, Jesus. It was great. It was bad. It was very bad to be... If you can see and you're still sleeping, it is the worst thing in the world. That would suck. I would never want to experience Oh, that. you don't. I'm so glad I haven't. Because you're awake and you're just like, hey, arm, wake up. But you can't even move that. It's like, <laughs> all you can do is look around. You can't even talk. Never have I ever had a paranormal experience. I have a lot. I know that's I creepy haven't. to say. I but have... I do believe that there's some crazy things out there. I've seen plenty of ghost figures in my house and then there was one time in my in my mom's house, I don't live with her anymore, but I was in the basement and I was home alone and I had my ponytail hanging on the back of the couch and I don't know where something pulled it and I started running up the steps. I, I did not have time to turn off the Wii that I was playing. I was not <laughs> playing. I ran upstairs and waited for my mom to get home. I was so scared. Is that the only story? Is there plenty more? There's plenty more. If y'all want to see me talk about some paranormal stuff that ghost I've dealt stories. with. Ghost stories. Ghost stories in none. a video. I have so many. Y'all want to hear them? Comment below and I'm <laughs> probably make a video and tell you about something. I don't like you. Never have I ever been so burnt, sunburnt, that I couldn't wear a t-shirt. Oh, boom! Let me kill you! I have, I've been burnt. I look like a lobster, okay? Oh my god, if you touched my skin, you'd get a sunburn. It was that bad. <laughs> I had to go to the hospital, I had to get some crazy medicine. I took, okay, so supposedly if you take a vinegar bath, if you t put vinegar in a bath and you take it, it takes the burn out or something like that. Or if you take a hot shower or something like that. But I did eight, I did like eight baths a day. <laughs> all I did, oh. Oh, all I did, all I did, I just sat there and looked at the ground until my burn went away. I couldn't do nothing. I don't even think I could eat. I was just sitting there like, and then if you listen closely enough, it was like. <laughs> You're such a liar. <laughs> okay, it really didn't do that. But I seriously, no doubt, no, like for real, it was the worst pain ever. I will never 
get a sunburn like that in my life again. I've if only, I do, I will scrape my skin off. Ugh, that would uh, hurt. I've only had like one major sunburn and it sucked, but it was not bad enough to where I couldn't do stuff. It just, I needed to lay with just white sheets. That was the worst. Thin. Sleeping was not a thing. It was really hard to sleep. Not a thing to not sleep. Not like yours. Okay, let me tell you something, Jen. It was the worst pain. Not ever, but close. I'm sorry. Never have I ever accidentally sent someone to the hospital. How do you, what? How does that even work? Okay, so I have and I have not. If that what did you do to accidentally send somebody? What was you like, boom, oh, sorry. I didn't do it, but I was there and we kind of talked about it and someone else did it. Okay, so what happened? Oh, I know what you did. What did I do? You snuck drugs in their drink. No. What happened was, I had a couple friends at the house, and we were talking about- That's how it always starts. Once upon a time- <laughs> No, it don't start like that. A lonely night. So, three friends were alone. <laughs> we were- There was like three or four. And then they hear a- ch -ch -ch -ch. <laughs> Shut up, this is not Jason. <laughs> anyway, so we had, uh, had a few of my friends at the house, and we were talking about CPR. And my friend was like, I want to know what it feels like to have CPR done. Oh, God. And she told me to do it, and I was like, I'm not doing it. I'm not about to be the one- I just don't want to do it. So then my other friend was like, I'll do it for you. And she did the whole hand thing on her chest. And as soon as she did it, you could feel or you could hear the crack in her chest. Oh, I've heard this story before. And then she couldn't move. And we thought she was playing at first. And then we started like freaking out. Her mom had to come and like, they had to pick her up, take her to the hospital. And she like oh broke her cartilage in her chest. Oh my gosh. Y'all about killed her. Yeah. And so don't hey. ever do CPR. <laughs> it's <laughs> breathing. And y'all say I'm the mean one. She about, wait, wait. I you? didn't do it. Ah, uh, see, so you they got murderer. Told, you got murderer friends. They told me to do it, and I was like, I'm not gonna do it. You can do it, but I'm not. You're a bunch of murderers. <laughs> Never have I ever cried in public because of a song. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. She'll cry over anything. I'm so emotional. I'm, I don't know. I guess it's just because I'm a female and my hormones. If this video wasn't recording right now, she'd be crying. You're such a liar. Like, <laughs> I, I guess with being a female and having your hormones or something, I don't know. I'm just very emotional. Especially sad songs come on, I'll get in my feelings. And... Gosh, she got problems. I'm sorry. Never have I ever been yelled at by a customer when working. One time? No, I don't know what this, I don't know what this, okay. They didn't yell at me. They did not yell at me. Okay, okay. Run my story first. <laughs> I have a story, but they didn't yell at me, okay? Well, they, mine didn't really yell, but they were kind of stern. I was a grill cook at Wendy's once upon a time, and then I walk up to the front, and I'm just just thinking of my own thoughts, and then the cashier's over there take, ringing somebody out, whatever, and she tells me after the fact that this dude cussed me out full-blown, and I was just sitting here, was not paying no mind to this man, because... I didn't hear a word that he said. They had to tell me in the back later on. Like I was saying, I was not yelled at, but I was cussed out. I don't know why. Well, actually, no. The, it was a girl cashing them out or whatever. And they thought I was the boyfriend and he was trying to hit on her. So they cussed me out. And I didn't even know this until after. Dang. So, yeah. My story, it wasn't that big of a deal. I worked at Moe's Southwest Grill. I don't know if y'all ever heard of that place. Or Qdoba, it's kind of like similar. Anyway, so someone ordered a thing called a home wrecker, and it basically the only thing different is it has guacamole on it versus the other burrito, and you dress it how you want. Mm. So the lady came. Oh, hold on! You said want with a little bit of attitude. You dress it how you want. You do. I don't understand <laughs> this lady. So I'm sitting here doing her order. She tells me exactly what she wants on it. Do you want rice? Do you want beans? I ask her everything, and then she orders, and then she pays for her food, and she goes sits down. She's eating. And she comes up and she's like, you didn't put everything that was on there. And I was like, you dressed it how you want. And she just kept going. And I was like, I don't know what to do. So I went to get a manager and let her handle it. Because I was like, you you just made it how you want. You're complaining because it's how you want. Okay, look. They that don't, don't make sense. They like, don't care. Oh my. They don't care. They do So, care. hold on. What do we, how I have not, you have, did she yell at you? Yeah, she was mad. Oh, okay. Okay, so this video is getting a little bit longer than usual, but I know why the reason is. The reason is, is because we're explaining the stories as we go. Now, if you like this version, if you like it for us to explain the story behind the Never Have I Evers, or we could just do Never Have I Ever scrubbed a toothbrush on a toilet seat for somebody, pranked somebody like that. I didn't do that, but you know, I was just saying stuff.
But I have I'm not. I'm not telling the story, but no, no, no. <laughs> We've been explaining the stories, so um, that's why the video is a little bit longer. So we could just go never have ever. Boom! I have. I have not. Next question. We can do something like that, or explain the stories like this and make the video so longer. We can have different versions, like we said, like dirty or. Just See, you really want know. the dirty version, don't you? I just we're a couple. No, we're not. Oh. We are not. We it's are a, broken up now. Sorry. Uh, the King Crin, subscribe. No, come back. <laughs> All right, we'll do one more. We'll do one more. Never have I ever thought I was going to drown. Oh my gosh, let me tell you something. <laughs> I have not. Oh! Oh! Almost died. Okay, so I was younger. You know, everything bad happened to me when I was younger. You know, my older days, I'm a great person, so I'm an angel. <laughs> Nothing happens to angels. Anyways, I was younger. I don't know, 10 years old. Um. Just swimming around, swimming around in the pool. <laughs> and then I go off to the five foot. I am not five foot tall yet. Okay, I'm a good solid three foot six, something like that. I don't know. But I go in the five foot thinking I'm tough stuff. I can't swim yet either. And then I, <laughs> all I can do is touch the ground, bounce up. <gasps> 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 I'm yelling, I'm yelling for help when all I could get out was <gasps> Don't nobody know what I'm doing, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, all I can say is, uh, but I'm trying to breathe and talk, and it just doesn't work. <laughs> I might have got enough, ah! that, I might have got that out. But somebody, thank God for this person, he was over there tanning, you know, getting his tan on. Next thing I know, well, I go under, then I see somebody in the air, and then I, you know, I, I was bouncing up and down, going, uh, you know what I'm doing. <laughs> but anyways, I see him in the air, go back down, come back up, he's in the water, go back down, boom! grabs me, put me on the side, and I'm like, oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> <sighs> he saved my life, man. If you guys want to see another Never Have I Ever, we explained how we could do it before, previously, before the last question, before I almost drowned. <laughs> that is the most death-defying thing that's ever happened to me. Ever. So, is that the only near-death experience you've ever, ever. had? Wait. Uh, yeah, except for one time I was supposed to go in a car with my dad, but um, <laughs> I didn't. And they got, a, about that. they got a crazy crash. And, um, well, in the picture, they took pictures of the car after it wrecked, right? Okay, well, my car seat was in front of a semi. I could have died. I wouldn't be here today. I would not be here today, Jen. If you guys liked this video, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe if you are new, and... Peace.